Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn the words that you must know to pass your Zeno test in English. So listen to me very attentively and try to remember as many words as possible. Good luck! To resemble. The synonym is to take after. These two words mean Buddhishojam na. To resemble, to take after. For example, these girls definitely take after their famous mothers. Ці дівчата однозначно схожі на своїх відомих мам. To support. The synonym is to take somebody's side. Підтримувати. Стати на чию сторону. To support. To take somebody's side. The example is I'm not taking his side. Я не підтримую його. Я не є на його стороні. To take somebody's side. To go separate ways. To split up or to break up. Розійтися. To go separate ways, якщо перекласти дослівно, означає іти різними шляхами. For example, it's over. Lucy Hale and Skid Ulrich broke up after just one month of dating. Все скінчено. Lucy Hale та Skid Ulrich розірвали свої відносини тільки після одного місяця зустрічань. So, break, broke, broken. Broke up. Розірвали стосунки. To apologize for, or the synonym is to say sorry, вибачатися за щось. To apologize for, to say sorry. The example is... It's too late to apologize. Занадто пізно, щоб вибачатись. It's too late. Занадто пізно. To apologize. Вибачати. So the next word is to look after. The synonym is to take care of. Піклуватися, турбуватися про когось. To look after, to take care of. For instance, take care of your soul before your skin. Турбуйся про свою душу перш ніж турбуватися про свою шкіру. To take care of. To respect, and the synonym is to look up to, means поважати когось. To respect, to look up to. So, for example, that's my biggest fear, disappointing those people who look up to me. Це є найбільший страх розчарувати тих людей, які поважають мене. So, the next words are to have a go at something. The synonym is to try to do something. In Ukrainian, that is пробувати зробити щось. To have a go at something or to try to do something. So, the example is Great things happen when you have a go. Чудові речі трапляються, коли ти пробуєш. Have a go. Пробувати щось. What's wrong? Or the synonym is What's the matter? Що трапилось? What's wrong? What's the matter? For instance, what is wrong with you? Що з тобою не так? Що сталося з тобою? What is wrong with you? The next important phrase that you have to know is to be fed up with or the synonym to be tired of. Втомитися від. 
бути ситим по горло. To be fed up with. To be tired of. Sometimes you can hear such phrase as to be sick and tired of. And the example is the phrase from the Gossip Girl um, that is I'm just so tired of people lying to me and going behind my back. Я просто втомився від людей, або мені остогидли вже люди, які обманюють мене і говорять за моєю спиною. So remember, to advise or to give advice on Радити, давати пораду Pay your attention to the letters S and C in the words So advise, that is діє слово, verb, радити But advice, using C, that is іменник, a noun, порада And uh, please remember that uh, the word advice, like a noun Uh, it has no plural. У нас немає множини від цього слова, so that's why we cannot say the word advices. It's not correct. Uh, that's why we say a piece of advice, two pieces of advice, and so on. And the next example is uh, Jennifer Lopez's career advice is have faith in yourself, have faith in what you've done and what you are doing. І ось порада Кар'єрна порада від Дженніфер Лопес – це вір у себе, вір у те, що ти зробив і те, що ти робиш. To appreciate – the synonym is to feel grateful for. Цінувати – бути вдячним за щось. To appreciate – to feel grateful for. And the next example is I really appreciate and respect the audience. People pay their hard-earned money to go watch you, so I feel like it's my job to give 100,000% of myself to what I am doing. So I really appreciate and respect the audience. Я справді ціную та поважаю публіку. Appreciate. To bring up a child. To raise a kid. Виховувати дитину. Pay your attention to the words a child and a kid. So a child and a kid are translated like дитина. But remember, a child одна дитина, but children діти. A kid одна дитина and kids діти у множині. So to bring up a child, to raise a kid. And the next example, this celebrity couple raised their kids without nannies. Отже, ця подружня пара відомих людей виховала своїх дітей без няньок. So, raise kids – виховувати дітей. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and listening to me. Have a nice day. Goodbye.